Meantime, politicians on Long Island sounding the alarm about an overpopulation of deer. They're calling on the state to pass a bill that would help them to be able to better manage the situation. Jody Goldberg has details. The town of South Holt is taking steps to address an increase in the number of deer that has caused an equally large tick problem. It is the largest public health crisis we have in South Holt with no close second. Officials hope if approved by state lawmakers, a deer management pilot program with New York State DEC oversight would allow hunters in the town more leniency to control the population. It's really a growing problem with the tick-borne illnesses and then also destruction of crops and woodlands. Proposed legislation would also make it legal for deer to be shot from vehicles and 12 and 13 year olds to hunt with the supervision of a licensed adult. That is certainly something we see in other parts of the state and is something that I think it should at least be considered. But animal activists fired back, suggesting birth control is a more humane way to reduce the deer population. People need to learn to coexist with wildlife. Killing them is cruel and it's ineffective. Members of the town's deer management task force say venison feeds families relying on food pantries and other methods of control are ineffective. It's impossible to catch all the does within any, re within any reasonable period of time to inject them with with the immunocontraceptive vaccine. According to officials, it's estimated South Holt is home to six to 10 times more deer than the local ecosystem can sustain. An overabundance of deer also poses more danger to drivers. We average about 227 uh, motor vehicle accidents with deer per year. For their part, the DEC can't comment on pending legislation. As for advocates, they're hoping to get it approved in the Assembly and the Senate at the beginning of next session in January, which is also the start of peak shotgun hunting season. In South Hold, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.